Hi, I'm Gerber Vermeulen from the Dutch telecommunications company KPM. Uh, and as a member of the Elliott Consortium, I'm here today to show you our consumer demonstration. Uh, Elliott stands for Enhanced Lighting for Internet of Things. Uh, and Elliott is a consortium which is um, funded by the Horizon 2020 program of the European Union. In Elliott, we developed Li-Fi technology for future mass market applications. For the future, uh, for the future Internet of Things, uh, Li-Fi needs to serve a great variety of use cases and therefore also has different requirements. To investigate this, the Elliott Consortium uh, has set up six different demonstrations. I'm standing here today at the consumer demonstration in which we will show what Li-Fi looks like, how it works, what value it has, uh, and more. I'm now standing in front of our model home. In this home we've got high-speed fiberglass connection uh, and we've installed Li-Fi in this uh, household. Uh, and Li-Fi can supply a safe, a secure and quick internet connection. Li-Fi's main benefit can, could be that in locations where there's loads of Wi-Fi networks and where Wi-Fi crunch is a thing, where Wi-Fi networks compete with each other for bandwidth, it could be a solution to have wireless internet but don't have the, the drawbacks of an unstable Wi-Fi connection. Let me now take you inside. But what is Li-Fi? In essence, Li-Fi is not even that new. Even this remote already uses light to communicate. When you send a signal to your television, it's using infrared to communicate, go to the different channel. But also another example is when back in my high school, I used to transfer ringtones between each other's phones. They need, needed to be directly opposite of each other to transfer it. And when you break the signal, it will be lost. That's what it is. It's using light to transfer information. Li-Fi has a much higher frequency than Wi-Fi though, which means it can transfer much higher bandwidths, but inherently also has less reach and less capability to penetrate windows and walls. Even your hands can block the signal. These are inherent capabilities of Li-Fi and Wi-Fi that have been taken into account in this demonstration. In this living room, we have uh, installed Li-Fi next to Wi-Fi. Uh, and Li-Fi has been built up using these transceivers. So we've got five of these transceivers in the seat. As you can see here, above the table, above the couch, and also above the desk. These transceivers build up a connection together with this dongle. So this dongle is put into your device, in, the, in my case often a laptop, and then we build up a connection. As long as I'm in the range of this light, I have internet. But also when I move towards the other lights, so for example from here to here, I'll still have a connection as long as I'm in the beam of the light. As we are sure, Wi-Fi will always play an important role in every household. Uh, one key area of our demonstration was to develop a vertical handover between Li-Fi and Wi-Fi. So that when the connection from Li-Fi cuts out, for example, when it falls off the table and the connection is lost, then Wi-Fi takes over. We see a potential for Li-Fi technology in consumer homes, especially where Wi-Fi is not up to the task. But in order for Li-Fi technology to truly come further and be applied in mass markets, there are several steps to be made. For example, the, the handover, the integration we made between Wi-Fi and Li-Fi is one of the crucial factors. But also, maybe even more important, is the integration of these light antennas into consumer devices. Those are crucial steps to be made to be mass adopted. But in the future, when you imagine that each luminaire in the ceiling can act as an access point and that each device connect, connects to this Li-Fi network and when Li-Fi cuts out Wi-Fi or even 5G takes over, then it will all come together. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know more, visit our project website and check our socials.